Here's your KNDY updated weatherology forecast for Northeast Kansas and Southeast Nebraska. I'm staff meteorologist Jennifer Wojcicki. Ample sunshine expected today with highs around 71. North winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight, lows level off around 41. Get up to the minute weather updates from the Weatherology Weather Center. I'm staff meteorologist Jennifer Wojcicki on KNDY for Northeast Kansas and Southeast Nebraska. Right now, 50. Kansas Mid-American with News. I'm Andy Hoosier. Kansas Governor Laura Kelly has signed seven new bills into law as we get closer to the sign and die veto override session to wrap up the legislative session of 2024 in Kansas. As KSNT News reports, the governor signed seven new bills yesterday afternoon, including Senate Bill 115 that would establish the Office of the Child Advocate as a new independent state agency, saying it would help protect Kansas children in the state welfare system. Senate Bill 359 was also signed by the governor that would create new license plates in the states for the Kansas City Chiefs, Sporting Kansas City, the Sedgwick County Zoo, the Kansas City Royals, Kansas City Current, the Topeka Zoo, Support the Troops, and the first city of Kansas. Senate Bill 118 was signed as well, enacting the Kansas Campus Restoration Act, discussing maintenance and demolition of facilities at colleges and universities across the state. The legislature says they are getting ready to convene to override many of the governor's vetoes. Mid America Network News. Fox Kansas News at 9. Join anchor Katie Toppy and the award winning Fox Kansas News team nightly at 9 for local news from the Wichita area. Get only the news you need in a concise half hour at a convenient time. World, state, and Wichita news, plus sports and accurate weather. Fox Kansas News at 9. Your news, your time. Channel 24, Cox Cable Channel 4. Have you noticed that the number of box stores that sell bed mattresses is dwindling? There's a reason why people that dip their toes into the water of bed mattresses end up buying a Derby mattress of Derby. Lower everyday prices that beat the box store sales prices every day. Also, Derby Mattress is the only store in town that has natural organic latex with no man-made foams, as well as two-sided mattresses. For everyday low prices, go to Derby Mattress at 105 South Baltimore in Derby today. U.S. Congressman Jake LaTurner has made the announcement as of the end of last week that he would not be running for re-election in the 2024 season, saying that he wants to spend more time at home with his four young children. In a statement from LaTurner, he did say, quote, Suzanne and I are proud parents of four young children, and for the busy schedule of serving in and running for Congress has taken a toll. The unrepeatable season of life where we are in, where our kids are still young and at home, is something I want to be more present for. He went on to mention his frustrations with the, quote, dysfunctional Capitol Hill, but said he is optimistic about the future of the country. LaTurner was the state treasurer for the state between 2017 and 2021, along with a state senator between 2013 to 2017. LaTurner said he would finish out his term until the end of 2024, but would leave an open seat as the Republican Party scrambles to find a candidate or multiple candidates going into the August primary in the state of Kansas. The deadline registered to run for office in Kansas is set for June 1st. Kansas Mid-American Network News, I'm Andy Hoosier. Duzine Enterprises has been laying floors all over our area since 1962. That's miles and miles of carpet, laminate, tile, hardwood, and vinyl. And they are so good at it that their schedule is filling up fast. So while good things come to those who wait, if you have a remodel or a new construction project in your near future, you should probably get on their schedule today. So call 785-325-2379. That's 785-325-2379. Duzine Enterprises in Washington. Why would you go anywhere else? Financing available. Nebraska Mid American Network News. I am Felix Johnson. Nebraska nonprofits have received $640 million from billionaire Mackenzie Scott, the ex wife of Amazon co founder Jeff Bezos. The $640 million will be split between 361 nonprofits across the country, with three of the recipients being in Nebraska. Since 2019, Scott has given away over $17.3 billion. The three Nebraska nonprofits are Bright Horizons, Nebraska Appleseed, and Ho Chunk Community Development. More than 6,000 nonprofits applied for funding. 
funding. In other news, Nebraska's Voting Rights Restoration Coalition has announced a public education campaign on Nebraska's new voting rights laws. This comes after Nebraska legislature's passage of LB20, saying that state residents who have completed a felony sentence can now register to vote immediately after completion rather than wait an extra two years. The coalition has launched GetMyVoteBack.org, a three-step guide for Nebraskans who will be re-enfranchised in 2024. Save big money at Menards. Keep your lawn looking its best with Menards Premium 4-Part Fertilizer Program. Each step is tailor-made for the health of your lawn. Get started this spring with a bag of crabgrass preventer with lawn food. Apply just once early in the spring to feed your lawn for over two months. Pick it up in our garden center today and check out Menards.com for more hot deals happening now. Save big money at Menards. Reporting local news, I'm Bruce Deerking. State Senator Elaine Bowers announced her candidacy for re-election, representing the 36th Senate District, which includes Marshall and Washington, as well as Clay, Cloud, Jewell, Lincoln, Mitchell, Osborne, Ottawa, Phillips, Republic, Rooks, Russell, and Smith Counties. Bowers has served the Senate since 2013 and was previously a House member elected first in 2007. She is from Concordia. Marshall County Treasurer Angie Price is filed for re-election. She was appointed February this year with the retirement of Jimmy Ellenbecker and will run on the Democratic ticket. Marysville was runner-up in nationwide voting through USA Today as best small town in the Midwest. Among communities under 25,000 population, Madison, Indiana, a town of just over 12,000 residents, won first. The only other Kansas community in the top 10 was Council Grove, finishing third place behind Marysville. Online voting was conducted in March. Washington County Commissioner's last meeting interviewed Ryan Kern of Washington, one of two finalists for County Economic Development and Tourism Director. A second finalist will be interviewed from among six applications for the post. Annual free days at the Washington County Landfill are coming up May 2nd through the 4th. Nemo Hall County Commissioners advise they're still receiving organization requests for American Rescue Plan funds. Those interested should contact County Administrator Mike Miller. Gage County officials are considering options as to a bridge closure over Indian Creek at the east edge of Pickerel, which was closed earlier this month due to deficiencies on the bridge deck. A detour has been designated north at the intersection with Southwest 2nd Road, Average daily traffic count is over 700 vehicles. USD 108, Washington County approved hiring Jordan Carlson as junior senior high principal, replacing Brock Funk, who is taking a post as principal at Great Bend High School. A native of Thayer, Kansas, Carlson and her family live north of Clay Center. She's been teaching at Clay Center High School the past seven years. Your news on your time a podcast of our morning and midday. News blocks are available on our website, kndyradio.com, and our social media. Washington County authorities were involved in a high-speed chase Monday that resulted in a multiple injury accident south of Washington near the industrial park. Pursuit was initiated by Clay County, proceeding north on K-15 with speeds in excess of 100 miles per hour. Multiple vehicles were forced off the roadway with erratic and reckless driving. Stop sticks deployed near Lynn were not effective, and the 2022 Dodge Ram pickup eventually struck an embankment at Industrial Park Drive, causing it to go airborne and roll over at the north side of that intersection. The driver, Robert D. Allen of Bellevue, Washington, and a passenger, Riley L. Linders, also of Bellevue, Washington, and a female juvenile passenger were transported to Washington County Hospital. The suspect had reportedly fled from law enforcement earlier Monday before arrival in Clay and then Washington counties. Robert D. Allen has a felony warrant from Washington State for escape from custody and assault. This and multiple pending charges face Allen as the investigation continues. Clay, Washington, and Marshall County authorities responded, as well as Kansas Highway Patrol and local first responders. A Clay County Patrol vehicle suffered minor damage, but no injury to officers involved. Again, the injury accident. Sound of Washington near the Industrial Park Monday, and the driver, Robert Allen of Bellevue, Washington, 
and two passengers transported to Washington County Hospital. Laura Richters was a guest on our public affairs program this past weekend. She's among volunteers coordinating a cleanup effort with Marysville Plantings. Richters talked about the areas that the group will focus on in the community. Yes, we have them, one called the 7th Street Corridor, and it's by the Wagon Wheel Restaurant. It's along where the parking lot is there, and the Pony Mound, right by the highway there. And we have the Water Tower up on the hill, uh, Rose Garden over by the city park, the historic courthouse, airport, we have a part out there, and the Welcome Center, as you're coming into town, it's just a small area, but it has roses and lilies out there. And we have a gal there that takes care of there. And the Kester House Gardens. Emilia R. Hassey, two-year-old daughter of Corey Hassey and Joanna Keyes of Summerfield, passed away Thursday. Service is planned Friday at 1 at Quarry Mortuary in Pawnee City. Visitation Thursday, 9 until 8. Family will greet friends Thursday from 5 until 7 at the Worry Mortuary in Pawnee City in charge of arrangements for Emily Ahasi. Paul Juniman, age 80, of Hanover, passed away Sunday. Funeral service Saturday, 10.30, with the vigil service at 9.30 from St. John's Catholic Church, Hanover, burial in the church cemetery. Ward Funeral Home in charge of arrangements for Paul Juniman. On the Marshall County Senior Citizens Lunch Menu today, chicken fried steak, mashed potatoes, zucchini and tomatoes, strawberries and bananas. Tomorrow, a sloppy joe with chips, broccoli and cheese, fruit cocktail and cake. Key and Dewey's time is 7.15. Whether you're buying, building, remodeling or refinancing, your home is a major investment in your life. At United Bank & Trust, we understand how important it is to work with someone who cares. Our loan officers have the experience it takes to make the process a smooth one. Come in for a visit or start online by filling out a loan application at ubankonline.com in as little as 20 minutes. Mortgage lending with United Bank & Trust. It's banking for your way of life. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Where do you turn when the unexpected happens? You may wonder what's next. Who do I call? What should I do? We at Christy Anders and Anders Fifely Funeral Homes are here to assist by providing support and personal services while helping create a beautiful and unique tribute for your loved one. We're proud to offer affordable, personalized packages to fit any budget. You can find us online at apfunerals.com or visit us in Waterville at Christy Anders Funeral Home or in Riley at Anders Fifely Funeral Home. Here's your KNDY weatherology forecast for Northeast Kansas and Southeast Nebraska. Staying sunny and a bit breezy today with our highs in the mid-70s and lower 80s. North winds between 5 and 15 and gusting as high as 30. Mostly clear skies overnight tonight with our lows in the upper 30s and mid-40s. North winds between 5 and 15 and gusting as high as 30. Mostly sunny into Wednesday with our highs in the upper 60s and mid-70s. Then a slight chance for some rain showers throughout Wednesday night with our lows in the mid to upper 40s. There will be a chance for some showers and thunderstorms throughout Thursday. Cloudy and breezy with our highs in the upper 60s and lower 70s. Southeast winds between 10 and 20 and gusting as high as 35. Then showers continue throughout Thursday night. Cloudy with our lows in the mid 50s and mid 60s. Southeast winds around 25 and gusting as high as 45. Showers and thunderstorms still continue as we head into Friday with our highs in the upper 60s and lower 70s. South winds between 25 and 30 and gusting as high as 45. Then showers and thunderstorms still continue into Friday night with our lows in the upper 30s and lower 50s. Southwest winds gusting as high as 40. I'm meteorologist Kara Foster. The average high temperature late April 69 is 7. The average low 45 in the rect one set this evening 812, sunrise in the morning 38. We recorded just a few hundredths of an inch of rain Tuesday morning. Showers and thunderstorms off and on across the area overnight. 51 degrees at this hour. The remaining shower activity pushing out of the far northeast corner of Kansas. St. Joe down toward Atchison. That's a check of the morning news and weather for this Tuesday, the 23rd of April. ENDY News Time 718. I'm Bruce Dierking reporting. Discover a different kind of health care at Sunflower Medical Clinic. Here you will find personalized after-hours and weekend care in a welcoming space. We offer urgent care, primary care, facial aesthetics, IV hydration, and the newest service is BioT, bioidentical hormone replacement therapy. 
No matter what you need, we're here for you. Give us a call at 785-619-6078 and let us welcome you to a new level of care at Sunflower Medical Clinic in downtown Marysville. Don't wait around to book catering for your next event. Whether it be a wedding, family, or company get-together, let Bite Me Barbecue in Marysville serve you. Pulled pork, honeyed hams, roast beef, whatever makes your taste buds happy. Dates are filling fast, so contact Bite Me Barbecue in Marysville, your catering headquarters. ABC Sports. This is Rich Cantu. The first round of the NBA playoffs continued last night. It was game two between the Lakers and defending champion Nuggets. Jumper Murray got it to hard. Denver bounced the comeback. They come back from 20 points down. They win game number two. 101 to 99 is the final. On 92.5 Altitude Sports Radio, the Nuggets go up two games to none with the series shifting to L.A. Game two of the Knicks 76ers series. The Knickerbockers erasing a late five-point deficit thanks to a Jalen Brunson three ball. Then this. Still loose. I don't hear a whistle. Hart took it away to DiVincenzo for three. Missed it. Hartenstein grabs the offensive rebound. And the Knicks another shot. DiVincenzo for three in the lead. 13 seconds to go. On ESPN Radio, 104-101. Knicks the final. Philadelphia head coach Nick Nurse said he tried to call timeout before for that New York bucket. We take a look at getting it in quick. We don't get it in quick. Uh, I call timeout. Uh, referee looked right at me, ignored me. ESPN's Tim Bontemps reports the Sixers plan on filing a grievance with the NBA over the officiating in games one and two. The Cavaliers beat the Magic 96-86 to take a 2-0 lead in that series. Stanley Cup playoffs, the Islanders coughed up a 3-0 second-period lead on the Hurricanes. Jordan Martin looks scoring the winner as Carolina took down New York 5-3 for a 2-0 series lead. The Leafs defeated the Bruins 3-2 to tie that series at a game apiece. Vegas took a 1-0 series lead, edging the Stars 4-3. And Zach Hyman netted a hat trick as the Oilers overhauled the Kings 7-4. This is Rich Cantu, ABC Sports. She posted about us just now. Celebrities can't get enough of Bianca's bespoke skincare line. She has 147 million followers. How do we monetize? She needs a social media associate to help her with the hype. We should repost this. Do we need a hashtag? Indeed can help her hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. You can schedule and conduct virtual interviews all from your employer dashboard. Visit Indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. Get in zone, AutoZone. Welcome to AutoZone. What are you working on today? Ah, thinking about gas mileage. You know, changing your oil with a full synthetic oil like Valvoline Advanced can help your engine get more miles. Right now, you can get five quarts with an STP Extended Life oil filter for only $35.99. Get started on your next job today with the parts you need when you need them at AutoZone or AutoZone.com. Get zone, Restrictions apply. K-State football fans, your Wildcats kick off the season Saturday, August 31st. This is notoriously one of the loudest places to play. Get your 2024 season tickets to see Pop-Tarts Bowl MVP Avery Johnson and the Cats for all six home games. Design run for Avery Johnson, and he's in for the touchdown. Secure your seat in the bill today by calling 1-800-221-CATS or visiting kstatesports.com. Go Cats! Farmers, control planting season this year with Wagner Custom Planting of Blue Rapids, Kansas. Top-notch equipment and experience that'll save time. Call 402-618-4404. Precision planting and specially tailored solutions for any sized operation. Wagner Custom Planting ensures exceptional results come harvest. Call Dylan at 402-618-4404 and let him handle the stress of planting season. Elevate your planting experience and maximize your farm's efficiency with Wagner Custom Planting.
Good Tuesday. I'm your farm broadcaster, Sam Speck, with your latest agricultural news here on the Mid-America Ag Network. And it is Tuesday morning, and at these times, we check in with the latest Steckline report with Larry Steckline. Good morning, Larry. What's the latest? Our special guest today, right out here on the farm, is Kaufman Seeds owner. We've got a little problem trying to control weeds. Everybody wants to stop, we'll control them. Well, we can only work with what we're given. We'll continue to use dicamba and 2,4-D and soybeans. Right now, the label has been reinstated, able to use dicamba across the top of ExtendFlex. But we do have the option of Enlist Soybeans using the 2,4-D method. What about the uh, price per bushel for seed? So spring crops, those prices pretty well held steady this year. Did they? Um, not really. I haven't seen much of an increase. Corn always varies a little bit. Soybeans pretty well held steady. Moving into the wheat season, you have to be determined. I mean, the crop, we'll see what the crop makes. Prices are down a little bit. I hope we can pull the price of seed wheat down a little bit. Well, you are one of the biggest seed dealers in the country. Tell me about new seed. I'm assuming you're talking about hybrids. Yeah. So there's a likely chance that there'll be some hybrid wheat in Kansas this year. Very limited basis, but I'm looking forward to seeing it. Have you seen anything in the past? What kind of yields? Right now, the yields that I've seen are from products that are not going to be on the market, and they were average at best, but they're being improved. They're working on it hard. Boy, it's been awful tough to get that done. Yeah. What are we going to do to control uh, rye? So rye control still the best option is the coaxium program. Um, using aggressor wheat and coax and aggressor herbicide and coaxium wheat. Sales of product good? They are, yes. Yeah, today they're not too bad. Hold the prices down, will you? I'll try and. <laughs> Thank you. Kaufman Seeds, and that's going to do it for us on the Stackline Report. Lewenberger and Waterville has dependable Simangus Cross Bulls for sale. All black with a few black baldies. These feature good disposition and hybrid vigor with calving ease. Yearling and two-year-olds ready for immediate pickup or delivery? Call Lewenberger today at 785-268-0647. From Kansas State University, this is Agriculture Today. I'm Jacob Clout. Despite a recent freeze, winter cannoli yields for this growing season look to be on target pending some timely rainfall. K-State canola breeder Mike Stom discusses the major freeze event that affected canola fields during early April. I think this year, though, we're pretty fortunate with where the canola crop was at. You know, the, the damage depends on, you know, the ultimate low temperature, the duration of that temperature, and then the growth stage of the crop. This year, the crop was not quite as advanced as we've seen it in some of the previous years where we've had some of these bitterly cold temperatures. Now, it, it did get downright cold in central Kansas. You know, we measured 14 degrees at Hutchinson on the 14th. And so I was certainly concerned. But when I evaluated that field, the crop was in that early bolting to early flowering stage. And, you know, at that time period, the crop is actually fairly tolerant to these hard freezes. Stom explains how to identify freeze damage within canola. With canola, it's pretty visible. So, you know, the first thing that I look at is the leaves, uh, leaf discoloration or leaf bleaching, you know, a loss of chlorophyll in the leaf. And so the leaves will look white, brown. And a lot of times you'll see within the center of the leaf that, that bleaching discoloration, but then also the tips are, are burned back. And at the stage we were at, the canola is still actually producing leaf area. And so it's able to grow through that bleaching pretty easily. And so it it doesn't take long after the freeze event where you start to see more leaf area and the plants overcoming that effect of the freeze. He discusses other production factors growers need to keep an eye out for that could impact canola fields. We definitely want to be out there scouting for the possibility of sclerotinia or white mold, although we haven't had rain events that could potentially lead to a sclerotinia being a problem. The big impact right now would be insect pressure on the buds and the flowers and the pods as they are, are developing. So diamondback moth would be one that I would be concerned with. Also, ligus bug that can be an issue. False chinch bug, since we're kind of on the dry side right now. Uh, they can become an issue. So those are the things that I would I would be on the lookout for. You know, the biggest issue that I see moving forward right now is some timely rainfall. You know, we, we really need that timely rainfall right now, like I said, to kind of get us to the finish line because we are at that peak water demand. 
That was K-State canola breeder Mike Stom on the current state of canola. He reminds growers that insect damage and rainfall will affect yields the most. Learn more on the K-State Agronomy e-update article titled Spring Freeze Effects on Winter Canola. I'm Jacob Clout. This has been Agriculture Today over the K-State Radio Network. Third Road Ag Sales have concept by Agritech. Innovative technology and proven products improve soil health, increase yields, and allow greater return on your investments. See the difference for yourself with a call today to Third Road Ag. Hay producers, remember they offer American Family Net Wrap and can fill your needs today. Check out Third Road Ag Sales on Facebook. Your birthday reveals how old you are, but not necessarily the age of your physical systems. We'll explain next on the Old Farmer's Almanac Radio Report. If you're a farmer or rancher, chances are you've thought about joining Kansas Farm Bureau. So what's stopping you? Your membership means you have a seat at the table when it comes to the issues that affect your farm. Things like trade, taxes, water, and regulations. The state's largest farm advocacy organization brings your message to policy decision makers at the county, state, and national level. The Voice of Agriculture becomes your voice and fights for Kansas farmers and ranchers. And a Kansas Farm Bureau membership includes other benefits. For about $50 a year, you'll receive discounts on equipment and supplies, cell phone plans, financial and legal support, home and office supplies, and more. You'll also receive Kansas Living, a quarterly lifestyle magazine featuring real stories of farmers and producers around the state, plus great recipes, crafts, and things to see and do in Kansas. Join us today. Visit kfb.org slash farmer rancher to learn more. With more practical tips and useful advice, this is the Old Farmer's Almanac Radio Report for Tuesday, April 23rd, the 114th day of the year. Singer Roy Orbison was born on this day, and the first video was uploaded to the YouTube platform on this day 19 years ago. Medical researchers are taking a fresh look at the mechanics of aging and how our body system seems to age at different rates. Your cardio system, for example, can age more rapidly than your metabolic system. For others, mental abilities may fade while retaining youthful physical attributes. There's hope that it will soon be possible to identify physiological markers that reveal so-called ageotypes. Interventions could then be designed based on your aging type. Someday you may be able to say my heart is 60 but my liver is only 40. And that is your Old Farmer's Almanac Radio Report. Learn more at almanac.com. 7.30 7.30 from KNDY, it's 51 degrees. Highs around 70 on tap again today. Sunshine this hour as showers and thunderstorms moved across the region overnight, triggering a thunderstorm warning for Gage County, southeast Nebraska. They received some pretty good size hail. Uh, I would say golf ball size hail. Some areas of Beatrice, just west of Beatrice overnight. We had just a very brief shower here at studios this morning, uh, less than five hundredths of an inch, I'd guess, in our rain gauge. Another round of thunderstorms, perhaps Thursday into Friday this week, moving west to east across the Midwest. Kansas Mid-American Network Sports. I'm Andy Hoosier. The Kansas State Wildcats baseball team had a successful weekend against number 15 Oklahoma State with Kansas State sophomore pitcher Jackson Wentworth being able to start his first game of the 2024 season on Saturday. Overall, he's made 18 appearances all in the bullpen before leading up to his opening start on Saturday with a dominant opening, striking out numerous Oklahoma State batters and leading a perfect game through 4.1 innings. Overall, he finished with just over six innings being pitched, striking out eight and having only only allowed one run. But really great just being able to start for my team and giving the best out I could so I can give us a chance to win for a series win against Oklahoma State because they're ranked 15th. So that really helps and it boosts my confidence knowing that I can start for our team and just help us out in any possible way. Kansas State went on to win the game with a 7-2 victory over number 15 Oklahoma State. They're back in action again tonight against Omaha at 6 p.m. Mid-American Network Sports. Valley Heights and Frankfurt Centralia baseball softball teams in action Monday. Frankfurt Centralia takes the baseball games in shutouts 16 0 and 15 0. Valley Heights takes the softball games 6 2 and 7 3. Marysville High baseball and softball teams at Clay Sutter Tuesday. Valley Heights softball at Don Evan West. Centralia Frankfurt softball hosting Onega. Area track teams at the Washington County Invitational Tuesday. Marysville High Track teams at Clay Sutter. KNDY.